Hi guys, welcome back to Oily Skin Diaries Day 2. All of this week, over the next seven days, I'm gonna be testing out seven different foundations on my oily skin, showing you things like application, before and after, flash photo test, and how it wears on my skin throughout the day. Yesterday, I tested out a brand new foundation from Estee Lauder. Today, we are gonna be testing out the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. This has been so highly requested. I will leave timestamps down below to show you where in the review certain things are happening in case there's just one specific thing you want to see but let's go ahead and get started when this foundation was initially launched, it created a waitlist online of something like 30 or 40,000 people. Unbelievable. But because the skincare brand The Ordinary had really been picking up and Desium was really, really getting a lot of chatter, I think people were really, really intrigued also by the price tag. This guy costs $6.90, and although the bottle looks incredibly small, this is something I wanna mention for all foundation, all makeup. This foundation has 30 milliliters in there, or one fluid ounce, the same as these guys. All three of these foundations here have 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce in there. Packaging can be incredibly deceiving, so when you see someone talking about the amount of product that's in a product, unless they're actually mentioning the grams, I wouldn't just go by the amount that, you know, like if you roll it up and look at it, that's not really a good indicator of how much is actually in there unless you have a really good trained eye. Take a look at what is in the actual product amount wise and compare it to other products in its family. Anyways, I just want to say that it's not just cheap because there aren't that many, um, there isn't that much foundation in here. You're getting 21 different shades, which is awesome. And it is, it seems to be a really good range. 21 from like quite light all the way up to a quite deep. So I think you should be able to find a shade in there. I'm going to be wearing the shade 3.0Y, which means it's more on the yellow, sorry, not 3.1. I'm wearing 3Y. I initially picked up 3.1Y and that was just way too dark for me. So this one is a much better match. Back to the wait list, I tried to buy this the first day that it launched and it was not only the incorrect shade, but it took a month and a half to get to me. They seem to have picked things up since that launch. When I reordered my shade, when it came back in stock, it shipped in, I think, two days. They've got stores here in Toronto. If you live in the GTA, there's three different stores and they are shipping out of those stores now. So things seem to be moving a little bit faster. You can also buy their skincare on different websites, but it doesn't seem like you can buy the foundation anywhere but their website or in store. On their website, it lists it as having an SPF of 15, but only in the European Union will you see that written on their bottle. So for whatever reason, the way that North America determines SPF, it's not in there, but that is just something to keep in mind. It is soy-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, vegan, oil-free, all kinds of free in there. So I will list their website down below. That's one thing about Desium and The Ordinary that I've noticed is they seem to overcomplicate things on their website. Although they make beautiful products, I feel like their website is a little bit unapproach unapproachable because they don't just flat out give their claims. It's all kind of buried and a little bit technical, but I mean, let's just put it on my face and see how it goes. I'm actually gonna prime my face with one of their primers just on this side of my face. This is the Hylamide Matte 12. It's actually available on Sephora as well as their website. So I'm gonna prime this side of my face and see how that helps. So I'm starting out with just two pumps and I've got a lot of breakouts here. So hopefully we'll be able to cover that up. And I'm an NC42, NC43 at MAC for reference. And I'm also working on testing out some of their skincare. So I will be doing a skincare video as well because their stuff is so affordable, it's great. It does have a super creamy texture. There's no real scent to it. And it blends out really easily. I actually took this home to me, home to me, home with me uh, when I went to Newfoundland for 10 days because I have been testing this out. It's not done, this isn't brand new to me. So if I'm willing to travel with something, that means it's pretty good. <laughs> and because the bottle is so, so small, it makes it good for travel. So that's all I'm gonna build it up. You can build it up a little bit more, but I've said this a million times, but I find the more I build up any foundation, the more likely it is to get oily on me. So I'm just gonna leave it at this. It just, it blends out like a dream. So I have given the foundation some time to set, did my eyebrows, and I just think it looks beautiful. It has that perfect balance of covering the things that I want covered, but not leaving my skin looking heavy or cakey or feeling that way either. The initial shine has kind of worn down a little bit. There still is a little bit of a natural glow to my skin, which I will be powdering, of course. And it has a little bit of tackiness, not much at all, but I'm, you know, I powder no matter what because I do have oily skin. As for primed versus unprimed, I do see a slight difference my skin looks a little bit smoother on the oh the natural glow is good um, 
I, I sometimes I wish I had dry skin. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, take some photo tests, and I'll be right back. Now that I have the rest of my makeup on, let's chat about the flash photo test. I kind of messed it up. I got happy. I was putting on the rest of my makeup, realized I forgot to take the flash photo before I put powder on. So this is me just wearing the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Everything else that's on my face will, of course, be listed down below. There is definitely some serious flashback, though. Uh, it definitely looks like a different color than my face, but in the photo where it is just my studio lighting and no flash, I think it looks really good, really, really natural. And what I will do tonight after I wash off my whole face is I will put this foundation back on with nothing else and test it with a flash. I will put it here and leave some commentary about how it ended up looking. But so far, I think that it looks amazing, so natural on the skin, it feels incredibly lightweight, like nothing on the skin. So I'm gonna go about my day and check back with you midway. It is time for the midday check-in, a little bit later than I had anticipated, but things are looking and feeling really good doesn't feel like it's gotten oily on my skin. My natural oils have kind of come through a little bit, but it still feels really, really lightweight. I don't feel like I need to blot or anything, which is a huge win for me. So I will check back with you at the end of the night and let you know if I have any more notable thoughts. Here we are at the end of the wear test. I've got to say, I'm incredibly impressed. I mean, I knew I was going to be. I've worn this foundation many times and really, really loved it. Definitely a little bit shiny and extra shiny because I was just cleaning my kitchen like a mad woman. <laughs> so I worked up a little bit of a cleaning sweat but overall I think it looks absolutely fabulous on the skin I'm just gonna powder lightly um, I think that it looks so good I have not bought it all day and it felt so comfortable on my skin I was actually uh, kind of like watching some YouTube and lying down on my arm and it didn't seem to move around or patch off or transfer um, I'm always like kind of careful I don't like rub my face too much or anything but I think it looks really good the um, the prime side is actually just slightly more mattified than the unprimed side and I think that this looks so good I cannot fault this foundation the price is amazing I think it has a really nice number of shades really kind of a small convenient bottle that it comes in and it just wears so beautifully on the skin looks like skin and feels so incredibly lightweight only issue is kind of the SPF but for me that's not a huge issue I'm not out at night being photographed very often anyways if you would like to see a review on the serum foundation be sure to let me know I think that anybody could wear this foundation because I don't find that it's too mattifying but it stays matte throughout the day which is really really nice but it doesn't feel like a dry matte so I think it could potentially be really good for just about any skin type it has nice buildable coverage so two gigantic thumbs up be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow I will of course be reviewing another foundation and I will link to day one's foundation review down below as well thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye